The last video was about solving the differential equation using separation of variables. Now, we can't always separate out the variables. Sometimes you have to um, adjust the equation a little bit in order to use separation of variables. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to use substitution in order to change the equation a little bit so that we can then go and use separation of variables. Now, it's not that important really. Um, I don't sit about all day, every day doing these, but I just thought I'd add it in just for fullness, okay? So uh, let's look at this example here. If we had uh, the differential equation 2x y y derived of minus y squared plus x equals 0. Now, if we divide throughout first of all by x squared, we get 2y y derived upon x minus y upon x all squared plus 1 equals 0. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use substitution in order to change this equation slightly, okay, so that we can then go and use separation of variables. So, what we'll do is we're going to use uh, the substitution. Well, we'll say like, like u equal y upon x. Now, you might be looking and say, how do you know to use that as a particular substitution? Well, you don't necessarily need to use that as a substitution. You may have a different differential equation, and uh, the, the secret is to be able to pick out the correct substitution that you um, can use and I suppose that would just um, take a bit of practice okay so let's say in this example we say u equals y upon x and you can see that y equals uh, u times x so when we differentiate that we have y derived that equals well we're just using the product rule so it's going to be differentiate u multiplied by x and differentiate x multiplied by u so you just have u derived of x plus if we differentiate x, that just becomes 1 times u. So we just have this here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these three equations here. And we're going to put these three in for the values here. Okay, so in that instance, the uh, value, uh, we've got 2, the y upon x. Well, y upon x is just the value of u. So we've got 2u and the, uh, the value y derivative, well, y derivative, is just the u derived of x plus u, so we have u derived of x plus u, uh, and then we've got minus the y upon x, which is the u, so it's y upon x squared, so it's u squared plus 1 equals 0, and when we uh, multiply out the brackets, uh, we get the line here, from the brackets are multiplied out, okay, and we get the 2u squared minus u squared just gives us u squared, so in the end, once we work through uh, these here, we end up with 2x u u derivative equals minus u squared minus 1. Okay, now what we want to do is we'll get all the x's one side and all the u's on the other side. Okay, so uh, we this here is just equivalent to 2x and it's going to be u derivative, um, which is du by dx. And we take that u down here, so that becomes u squared minus 1 all up in u. So we then take the u down to our side here uh, we'll have x upon dx equals minus u squared minus 1 upon 2u du and finally we'll have if we take uh, multiply both sides by negative then we'll have minus 1 upon x dx uh, equal and take the reciprocal as well uh, equals 2u upon u squared plus 1 du okay now the we then these have then you notice that they have been separated, okay? So all the variables have been separated. So we've got all the x's on this side and all the u's on that side. So we can use uh, the, we can now differentiate this. I'm sorry, we can now integrate this, okay? So we integrate this side here, we get ln 1 plus u squared, and if we integrate this side here, we get minus ln uh, x, okay? So uh, that means that we can rewrite that as 1 plus u squared equals c upon x. And uh, we can multiply both sides by x squared, and you have x squared plus y squared equals cx. Okay, so that's that's the the, the solution method. Um, went through that quickly because we don't really want to spend too much time on this. These are the kind of things that uh, you you see at once. You have a try a few examples, and you just at least you know it's there, and it's in your kind of toolbox to go back and look at it and use in the future if you need to. Okay, so. Um, what's it like generally? So, um, generally speaking, what would we be starting off with? Actually, what we're starting off with is a function y derivative. 
equals g of y of x. Okay, so you can see that we've got that type of function up here. Okay, so we've got a y derivative here and we've got a g of y upon x. Now in this case the g is just the squared terms, but it could be anything, it could be sine y upon x or, or some other or value. But so just a function, g y upon x. Uh, so we've got the equation in that form there, and then we've gone in and we've used the substitution and we've looked and they say well let u equal y upon x, so y equals u times x, so y derivative is u plus u derived of x. And we've placed, if we look at this here, then we can see that the y derivative is u plus u derived of x. So that's for that side there. So we've got u, u derived of x. The right hand side is g. Now y upon x is the value u, so it's g of u. Okay, so it means that we can then write the uh, u derivative as um, the uh, du by dx. And then we can separate out the variables. So we're going left with u plus x. Uh, and that's got to be the u by dx equals gu. So whenever we uh, separate all these variables out, in the end, uh, we'll shift it all about. We've ended up with the equation of form du uh, upon g of u minus u equals 1 upon x dx. So you can see all the u's on one side, all the x's on the other side. Okay. So what we can do then, at that, after that point there, we can then go ahead and we can integrate that and we can then replace all the values of u by the y upon x to find the final solution. Okay, so that's all the rest of this video. Just a quick one, just to show you, uh, let you know that there is a method. This method exists. Um, I don't sit down all day every day uh, working through these types of examples. It's not really my thing, uh, but it's just to uh, let you know that there is a, a, a process or a method of uh, substitution in order to uh, allow us to separate the variables out and use separation of variables as a solution form for your differential equations. Okay, so thank you for listening and goodbye.